This is the moment of truth. Is that going to make you run a mile if I, I, like, if I slip up and it happens again? That answer is... Is a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. After this bomb, do you think you're a good person? I don't know. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Selena and Cody are going plant shopping. Ella and Mitch are fishing. Dom and Jack are laying in a park. So they are parking? No. Sun basking. It has to be an ing. How do you know those words? Brent has ripped their names off the door. Tamara, is he moody or is it his ego? Okay, let's not go crazy. Seeing that their sign of our names was off the door. Um, it's dramatic. It's like a fool with your time on the ground. It's time for Liv and Jackson's final date. And the question on everyone's mind is, why didn't we see this last night along with the other dates? It's a secret. Jackson is excited to show his romantic side. He is taking Olivia to have an outdoor bath surrounded by white roses while he makes dinner. Walk away and forget about it. I believe Anthony and Mitch planned these kind of dates the first week of the experiment. But let's not hate. What's wrong with me? Jackson gets Liv a diamond necklace and he tells her about his ex who didn't get along with his friends. These two are now on a trivia show on a round of true or false. This is the moment of truth. That's a really good wine. Hopefully that means you won't be whining tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes. I just want to know if one of my friends say something stupid and if she's going to hold a grudge to it. If you have an issue with one of my friends. I don't know. I've had, I've had issues with boyfriends, friends in the past. That answer is false. I don't have to have them in my life. That answer is false. If that's somebody that you choose to have in your life, then that's fine. False. Your husband or your lack of close friends. Just because you lack people doesn't mean that I have to like them as well. That answer is true. You have to understand that I might not want to be included in plans that involve them. Do you want to continue or are we going to stop here? Like, is that going to make you run a mile if, like, I, like, if I slip up and it happens again? That answer is... There's a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. It does worry me a little bit, because if she doesn't get along with my friends or my family, that's a, it's a deal breaker for me. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? I don't know. An answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. So going forward, I'm going to try and keep my mouth shut. After this bomb, do you think you're a good person? I don't know. Boys' Night and Girls' Night has been announced. Given so few couples have made it to the end, the producers have invited past participants. Al is pumped while Mitch wants to crack the Daniel code. I think Daniel and, and Carolina are pretty pathetic. I think morally and ethically, it's just wrong. Society sucks. In a weird turn of events, the Girls' Night is being held at the restaurant Brent co-manages. Tamara tells Ella that Brent tries to say he's a restauranteer, but he probably just do. I think he waits tables. He says he's a restaurant specialist. I have no idea. I think he makes shit up to sound good, to be honest. I'm so over it. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything. Daniel and Caroline think they deserve a prize for still being together two weeks later. What? You can't all be winners. Everyone is excited to see Holly. Selena thinks it's like seeing Christmas Day. It was really nice to see Holly. It was like seeing like Christmas Day. She was as cheery as always. The women are being generally respectful to each other when Selene arrives. She wants the retreat tea. I want to know what happened at this retreat. I think that was the next thing I missed out on. A few of the women matter that they don't want to talk about it, but Selene is confused. Why is no one telling her what happened? I'm worried about saying the wrong thing to somebody and it upsetting Jackson. So going forward, I'm going to try and keep my mouth shut. Maybe holding my tongue right now is the best remedy. Over at the boys' night, Al worms his way into the venue. <laughs> I don't know what it is. 
A few moments later. Meanwhile, over at the ladies' night, Celine has wormed herself into some drama with Tamara. Hello. Guys. No one's hearing me. I just want to catch up. Maybe holding my tongue right now is the best remedy. Spicy. Shut up. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything. Did Jackson mention that I hold grudges? I'd like to not get involved in any sort of battles tonight. I can just like sip my wine and stay well and truly away from all the crazy shit. Since the woman didn't feel like engaging in disrespectful and childish behavior, Celine called them all B.I.s who are rude. I, to protect me against the bitches. I I said bitches. Like, that's rude. How because we're getting sick rude. of you lecturing us. I'm not, how am I lecturing? I'm not. Like, everybody listen to me. Everybody listen to me. Like. Buckle up, baby. Are you kidding me? Tamara lost it and says, you haven't been through what we've been through. And Celine responds to Tam Tam is to just keep yelling like you do to Brent. You just want to keep yelling like you do to Brent. <gasps> um. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, Celine understood the stir the pot assignment she was given by the producers as she added that Tamara led Brent on. Don't yell at me. Because I am furious at the fact you left so long ago and think you can say that I've been Tamara, leading him on. No, 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 I don't, I'm not going to get over it. Sam inserts herself into this yelling match. Sam brings up that Selena didn't even sleep in the same room as Anthony. Bringing that up. Why are you bringing this? Celine is sitting back enjoying the drama she started. She's watching the girls go on about her while she enjoys a taco. Celine Dion has arrived oh my Hello. has arrived at the boys night but his arrival wasn't as interesting as Jess. As Jess arrives a few of the women discuss how to gently and tactfully tell her that her former husband had a cheating scandal. But the moment she sits down Celine yells when did the cheating happen? Oh, oh God. Huh? Sorry, my mistake. Oh, she doesn't know. No. Fruit pie. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay, back to the boys. Al is shocked to see Daniel. Dude, turn around and walk out the door. Like, it's gonna get hostile. It's all good. Good, good. A few moments later. Daniel confirms his hit that have you had sex now? Or? Yeah. How sexy and mysterious. I don't know why he showed his face tonight. I think Daniel and Carolina could have just continued their relationship on the outside if they thought it was all fine and dandy. I think morally and ethically it's just wrong. It's disgusting behavior, I think. That is overtly sexual. Did a thing. Dion, is there anything you want to say to this guy? Because he's doing a lot of talking. Well, I mean, yeah. And Celine Dion tells Daniel that Carolina threw away a diamond and picked up a rock. Meanwhile, at the girls' night, Kate alerts the group, Guys, Carolina's here, but no one moves. The girls are angry about a text message Carolina sent to Celine Dion, where she apologized for any hard feelings and reminded him it was just a TV show. Sorry, can I ask why did you text Dion and say, sorry, it's just a show, no hard feelings. If it's not just a show for you, if it's a genuine relationship with Daniel, why did you say it's just a show? Yeah, like, we are you for just a show. We've all got real feelings. No, you said it's just a TV show. You're saying now that your relationship is genuine. What's the text, though? Daniel is awkwardly trying to make conversation. How are you lads going? So well. Wondering how you guys are going. A few moments later. Mitch? I don't want to talk to you, bro. I don't rate ya. Huh? I don't rate ya. At all. Uh, that's all good. Al asks if he's in love and Daniel responds that it hasn't been long enough for that. Mitch yells, you're in love with that kitty cat, hey bro. What's your opinion? 
I reckon I'm on the right path. Definitely not, but whatever. No, I reckon, man. It's a short-term fling. Just have a bit of fun and you'll move on, I reckon. <laughs> no, don't say that. No, that's yes. what I reckon. Two hours later. I think you're nowhere. Just let it go. It's not worth it. I'm out of here, man. You're... You're such a dickhead, eh? We're gonna... Mitch adds, you're a clown peasant. At this point, Daniel decides to leave. Your relationship Real gone. You, you're full of shit. Hey, uh, how about a cheat on someone to get it? And that's the end of the show. It's a wrap. Who are you happy to see back on your screens? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fooling me. Oh, are you kidding me? Wrong time for a piss, mate. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs>